now let's look at the sql azure models uh, which is being offered so as in our demonstration we have seen that when you create a sql server um, azure sql server uh, then you have the option to create a single database or the elastic pool database so as i mentioned earlier as well sql server offers uh, two different type of uh, azure sql as a service uh, first is the single database which is which comes with the v core model so v core model basically uh, which is designed for the better performance with the compute memory and the iops so based on the type of configuration you choose let's say i choose the standard configuration or the premium or general purpose v2 configuration then i get the dedicated number of cores uh, v cores assigned to me so v cores is basically combination of computer memory and the iops operation so so it is designed let's say it is designed to have uh, these number of v cores is equivalent to let's say eight core of cpu or this much of memory and 5000 i of per second i'm just giving some hypothetical numbers the exact number you can go ahead and find out on the uh, on the portal or the azure website documentation website and this uh, and this and the way based on the number provided or the requirement type of requirement you have for your application performance you can choose this specific v core for your standalone database so this was about the standalone database but i have and yes uh, the standalone uh, database can go up to the maximum up to 4 tb of size uh, so if you go to the general purpose v2 or the premium offering um, then yes you do have the options for you know uh, choosing your database specific database to 4 db so if uh, someone may ask the question that what about if i have the database uh, beyond 4 db what do i need to do so i would say that uh, in that case if you have the single database which is from beyond 4 db the I don't think they are, at the moment you have the option to choose that but if you have multiple databases within the same server which combines the uh, four beyond 4 TB then yes you do have option to choose uh, multiple database which can go up to 4 TB of uh, you know uh, services now let's uh, look at the uh, ADTU resource model uh, which is different from the single database model so single database in when you create a database in our demonstration we have seen that uh, you you uh, you've been asked to choose the type of services which is uh, which you are allocating for for your database so in the EDTU what we are doing here is basically creating a database you choose a service you know uh, but what if you are not utilizing those luxury performance tier so what you can do is you can buy the edtus uh, which is again the combination of compute resource memory and iops and then um, you buy those edtus uh, to run your sql server and the edtus will will be shared across the multiple databases uh, for you so this is um, the typical in this particular slide i've just given the typical you know a table a representation for example if you choose the edtu model here in the edtu model 50 edtus uh, can give you up to storage of uh, 500 gb uh, and you can have the uh, basically 100 databases and then uh, uh, in the 30k sessions across all the different tiers and then maximum size it can go up to uh, 1024 again this is i'm um, i'm just choosing it uh, based on the the higher specification if you are choosing the lower specification then the specification or the offerings may be different from what we have and this this these configurations or offerings or the these you know service offerings are keep on changing by microsoft on a regular basis so it might possible by the time you're watching this video this this particular statistics is outdated 
so i would highly recommend you to go and check the latest available statistics on the portal itself rather than referring it from from here now let's look at the uh, ne our next demonstration about creating the elastic pool so he here in this demonstration we are going to create an elastic pool to our sql server so in so the sql server which we have created we are going to create an elastic pool in this particular demonstration let's look at now I'm back on my SQL server on the Azure portal so I can go ahead and click on the new elastic pool or you can go ahead and search the elastic pool so basically you can go ahead and search for SQL server and then create a new elastic pool and then specify I want to attach this elastic pool to my existing server I or I want to create the elastic pool uh, to a new dedicated SQL server so the name of SQL Server, let's call it in Azure Xen and then EPL for Elastic Pool. And then yes, you do have option to choose, uh, it, it says general purpose, then you can go up to let's say 500 GB. As I mentioned that uh, depending upon the type of core you are choosing, you have the option to choose number of different offerings. For example, I can go up maximum, I can go up to 80 cores and 4 TB and then this, this is what I need to pay for the elastic pool. So let's go to the uh, premium or the basic configuration. So if I'm going to choose the basic configuration, this is what I need to pay and then here I can go up to maximum up to six, 1600 uh, EDTUs and if you look at the some of the different offering for example premium if I go to the premium then maximum I can go up to 4000 EDTUs I can go up to 4 TB of uh, you know storage size uh, for this particular mm, database size so if I'm going to choose this one then this will create the elastic pool so let me create a elastic pool for that using the 50 database and here if you want you can go ahead and choose the database uh, create a database while creating the elastic pool itself so at the moment we are not going to create any database but if you want you can create the database and the database will be automatically added or attached to the elastic pool so let me create that let's see so we are back and the elastic pool is successfully created and as you can see uh, I have the SQL Server elastic pool and now I can always go ahead and create a database onto the elastic pool so if I go ahead and attach to the database let me see if I can go ahead and select uh, view the elastic pool directly from here yeah so this is what the database is already created now on uh, the the elastic pool is created now so now I can go ahead and create the database inside this particular elastic pool